This is the VoiceOver Gurus Podcast. Real talk about the voiceover industry with your hosts, Linda Bruno and J.J. Wilson. makes me laugh <laughs> it's like a robot yes it is <laughs> it's the inf- <laughs> i don't know why that cracks me up it's the inflections or what is it do it again i i, I don't know <laughs> <laughs> i no. just leave them hanging <laughs> <laughs> they're just odd Yes, they're they on, but they make me uh, crack up, especially during the workouts <laughs> when yes. you do them. All right. Well, welcome back. This is the VoiceOver Gurus podcast. And as always, we're always laughing at the beginnings of them, right? Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> Hello, Hi, JJ. Linda. How Hi, are Linda. you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm pretty good, actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Trying yeah. to wrap up a few things. You know, we're still moving our studios. I didn't know you were a rapper. Oh, my God. If I could tell you the level of frustration that I feel. Um, with panels, and I talked about this on the last podcast, too, because I was frustrated then, you know. Yeah, moving studios is is about the worst for us uh, hyper, oh, my God, does it still sound good type people. Um, yes. It's a, it's a nightmare. Yes. It's a nightmare. I always, when I move. The first thing that goes in is the studio. I, I tell the moving man, I said, wait in the goddamn driveway. <laughs> I've got my studio in my car. We're going to be in the closet. I'll let you know when I'm done. Right. <laughs> and then we get that set first before anything else goes on. So I know exactly what you mean. It's, I said to, it's to Dave yesterday, I said, if someone two months ago had said to you that we were going to have to go through this whole process to move, would you do it again? And he said, absolutely not. <laughs> No. So no. <laughs> we would have no. stayed in the old place. I like place. my closet. <laughs> yeah, because it's just been a bevy of, of things to deal with. But we're working through it. But something else I've been waiting to do since last August. Um, That's a long time, Linda. Yes. my. I hope it's not go to the bathroom. No, thankfully okay, not. Good. But it's close wow. in a voice it's actor's lonely. career. It's close. <laughs> it's redesigning my website. So last uh, August, yeah. we had our first meeting, me and my lovely web guy he's he's fantastic he's just incredibly overbooked and way too busy so oh. finally he's working on it but this whole time i've been waiting because you know you kind of shift your branding you you know you find out things about you know you're like okay let me adjust this let me adjust that but everything kind of has to tie together you know your email yeah. signature everything has to flow so yes. i've been in that middle zone for all these months and finally it looks like this week he's finalizing it but it's tough you know what do you what do you uh what do you do you just redid your website didn't you like a couple um, of months ago uh yeah a few months ago yeah we updated it but janine does that for me thank goodness yeah because she's it and we just made subtle changes you know but you keep it simple and that's the most important thing yes yeah you know? i don't want them to have to navigate through nine different things to get to my demos soon as you get to my front page I think the demos should be there or yes. just a button that says demos. Mm -hmm. I, I see some websites where you have to go to page three in order to get to the site where the demos are. Right. And I don't, I don't want to go through. Now, how do I, if I push this button, maybe it'll get me to the second. Bit. No, <laughs> they should be right front and center because that's the bottom line. It's of true. The website is your demos. When I first <clears throat> was getting a website together, this was one. Let's see. Um, 1964. Yeah, 1999, 2000. Um, I had a friend who was, you know, worked with the company who was this fantastic web designer, and Flash was like all the rage back then. <clears throat> so he yeah. said, he goes, you know what? I'll build you a website. You don't have to pay me much. I want to use it like more like a showpiece. So he created this freaking three-dimensional spaceship that like rotated on my home page, and and then I had my friend Charlie Conley say LindaBruno.com with these deep pipes, and it was beautiful. It was it was freaking fantastic. I wish I could still see it now, yeah. and it was too nice and it was too over the top because then people were like, "We can't afford you," and then all of a sudden, like my work went. Wah, wah, wah. 
Uh, and that, that's an interesting point. Yeah, and I asked people, I'm like, hey, what happened? I I was getting, oh, yeah, we recommended you to somebody, but, you know, they went to your website and they don't think they can afford you. And I'm like, oh, so here we go. <laughs> so at that point, I went, no, I opened up a Dreamweaver book. I learned how to do it myself, and I made a very simple, straightforward website. Yep. <clears throat> yep. It doesn't need to have much on there. They don't care how tall you are. Right. But they the, just, you know, the, a little brief history. The importance. And some memos. Yeah, and the importance, though, is that they figure out, you know, who you are very quickly. Yes. And that they don't have to think about it, that, you know, and therefore your website should reflect that with your branding, um, yes. <clears throat> which is why I have changed my website now, because I didn't really have any branding on my site before. It was just Linda Bruno, and yay, she can do this, this, and this, and this. But <clears throat> what do you remember me for? You know, what is my signature sound? Because so many people are in this business that you really have to nail that down. You yes. know, a good coach yes. is going to help you with that. Yes, um, like us. Like us. <laughs> <laughs> but that 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 is our purpose. And I'm not trying to plug already, but that's our purpose when we coach. I am. <laughs> You're, you yeah. plug a lot more than me, and you're really good at it. I'm not. Thank you. Um, is to help you figure out where your strong suit lies and what you should uh, pitch yourself as. Now, a lot of times we walk in and we're like, oh, my God, I can do this and I can do that, and I want to do this and do that. And, yes, I get it. You're excited. Fantastic. Pull in the reins a little bit. Let's just slow down the horses, and let's focus <laughs> on what you're really good Yeah. Good at. Yeah, let's, let's stop trying to learn everything else at once and just get some work. Right. Yeah. 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 With the existing, I mean, like embrace your talents that come to you naturally and try to get some work off of it. Absolutely. Oh, Linda, it's too early to drink. I Come wish. on. It is Friday, though, for us. Oh, it is yeah. true. That's true. <clears throat> it's, yeah, it's almost Cinco de Drunco. <laughs> Cinco de Drunco. It's Cinco de Drinco. Okay. Cinco de Drinco. Sorry. So in my search, when I was like really annoyed with my voice guy, I was like, I'm going to go find somebody to help me with this website. So I came across the website that so many voice actors are using, and it's voiceactorwebsites.com. Mm -hmm. And man, they have it laid out really well for voice actors. Finally. If yeah. somebody designed a, a platform, a, a shell it's for just, us. It's just for us. Yeah. Yeah. Because I keep asking my wife, I said, I'd like to put a picture here of me doing this, and then another picture of she Oh, no, we can't do that. Yeah. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> well, the, it's, it's, the, the template isn't set up that way. Mm -hmm. And I went, somebody should invent a template for voiceover actors. Yeah. And they, here you are. Yeah. <laughs> they customize God, it. what a coincidence. You have a, like a consultation, which was what I reached out and they had set up a time for me to consult with them. And I thought, this is great. They're going to help me because they really help you with your branding and, and getting it right. Um, and lo and behold, I don't know, it's almost like my web guy figured, oh my gosh, she must be looking somewhere. And suddenly he contacted me and said he was finishing my site. I don't know how that uh, works, but uh -huh. that's what happened. He has your uh, computer. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> could be, could be. Yep. 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 But now your website, you have a cool little image of you holding a microphone like a mic drop situation. Yes. Yes. I just decided to go with that for a little while. I'm already tired of it. So I'm going to change that out and do something. I, I just, yeah, there's so many different ways to go. Mm -hmm. um, yours are always just a nice shot. Uh, the, at least the last one of, you know, you there and, and it just, it's, it's to the point. You're, that's Linda Bruno. Keep it here's simple. what you do. Yeah. Keep it simple. That's, that's, yeah. I'm almost thinking that the way that you thought that the clients thought that maybe they couldn't afford you me doing a mic drop after i thought about it for a while was like eh, mm. am i over boasting right. is that too much because i'm i'm just not that way right i am just not that way i thought it was funny it's it was very but the funny more, the more and more i thought about it it's like oh you know i think i'm fantastic well, that's not how I think of myself. I think of myself as a working voice actor. And so that that's going to change again soon. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll probably put on a silly hat again and then do what I do best mm -hmm. is just be me mm -hmm. um, and, and keep it very simple. And, and I have a little uh, thing about my father and helping me get into the business when I was five and my contact information, the studio equipment and my demos. Simple. That's it. Mm -hmm. And maybe a picture of my mom, but I'm not yeah. sure yet. <laughs> but some of the websites I go to are just like, wow, this yeah. is really wasting my time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and you need to showcase quickly. This yes. is what I sound like. Well, you know, everybody's got six second demos now. Right. Yeah. You know, so think of the, you know, if you've got a four page 
website. No one's going to look at that. They're not going to get through it, you know. They're going to barely scroll down the to the middle of the first page. And help me with a six-second demo, Linda. <laughs> Hurry, right now, we're having a bit. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's for the <laughs> internet ads, as we discussed with uh, Kevin and Bobby. It's, and I've seen them. I see them all the time now. Actually, now that yes. it's called to my attention, I see them all the time. And I yeah. get it. Um, my personal opinion, I guess it's the trendy thing. I don't usually follow trends. So, I don't either. Right. I don't either. I, I don't hear, you know, can he, can he really read more than six seconds in a row? <laughs> Or is he going to have to punch in after that, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't mind taking <clears throat> six seconds of a spot, you know, and, you know, condensing it from like a 15 to down to six. But it, of course, still has to make sense. Right. It has to have the beginning, a middle and an end. But then I do one that's 18, you know, just to give them a feel. You can't do a narration demo at six seconds. Right. Once upon a time in the woods of the. <laughs> I know. So anyway, yes, yeah, keep it simple. Keep it simple. We don't need to know your likes and dislikes. And, you know, I don't like tree toads on Thursdays. What? Just Who make cares? sure. Just Where's make the sure. demo button? <laughs> and make sure it's stuff you're truly proud of. Yes. You know. And truly can <clears throat> duplicate, uh, do in a situation where you're doing it. Now, that, that website that I had mentioned, that castvoices.com that we talked about on one of the what? you wrote it down already <laughs> oh, okay I, yes uh, they're the ones that i told you me. that were oh here it is i got yeah. it i got it yeah i gotta go to the okay doctor. good yeah so you, there you i think any work yet i haven't put my profile up yet <laughs> so um that would be a hard no so i think they already <laughs> launched right but only because of the studio and everything i've been really busy i was gonna say <clears> it's <throat> because you're still putting up in panels exactly <laughs> So they have um, on there, you have to create like a showcase reel. And I guess it's the first thing that clients are going to hear. So one of our students reached out to me and she says, do you know what the heck this is? <laughs> you know, and I said, I'm imagining it's, you know, the things that you feel would characterize you the best, you know, what your strengths are. Right. Um, <clears throat> now, if you haven't done a lot of work, that might be a lot easier to do. But for people like you and me, I think that's going to be a really tough thing because we're already hypercritical of our work to begin with. But how do you yeah. pick? How do you pick? You know, the the best of the best that showcases you to put in. I'm having a tough time with that. That's what I'm is saying. it is it just one spot you're allowed to do, or is it no? More? I think it's a compilation. But, a compilation, because because I have a compilation demo right that covers everything from car spots <clears> to <throat> narration to e-learn, character <laughs> voices, all in two minutes. I think this is a 30 second allowance. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's okay. short. I'm not positive. It's 30, 45 seconds. It's it's small. It's not like the length of a normal, as far right. as I know. <clears throat> like I said, I could be wrong, but. Um, then, well, if you've got, you know, for people like you and, and, and me, we have we have some big stuff running. Um, maybe I would do something like Sandals, the world's only da 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 da. I would do that. Right. And then I would do another big name, you know, the Wagner heat gun. Nah, 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 nah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just showcase all the big stuff. And then I would also throw some of the little stuff in there. So, again, the clients don't think they can't afford you. Right. Oh, well, this guy only does nationals. No, I don't. Right. <laughs> if I did, <laughs> no. I wouldn't be living in a house. <laughs> That's right. I wouldn't be here worrying about my website. <laughs> right. Exactly. <clears throat> Yeah, so I'd that's be calling my agent from the yacht, going, <laughs> Yes, I'm not available today. I'm sorry. Just tequila! <laughs> Block out my schedule, please. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm that'll be pilot. interesting. That's on my task list of to do's. Okay, I'm going to do that too. Cast voices. Cast voices. Yes. Got it written down. Yeah, good, good, good. Go that. check it yeah. out. Go check it out. Okay, I'm going to check it out. All right, bye bye. <laughs> oh, not yet. So, okay. how's it been going as far as auditioning and stuff goes lately? Auditioning? Boy, that was a hell of a transition, Linda. Right? Good, right? <laughs> it's been really good. Thanks for asking. Were you in radio, Linda? Yes, you were. <laughs> Love, 94. Is it time to wrap up the interview? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Make that segue. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, radio. No, Boy, no, the other I'll segue is... So many memories. <laughs> <laughs> the other segue is... So you have a funny story, right, about auditioning? <laughs> they do that on, like, the talk shows. <laughs> yes. Like we rehearsed before. Um, <laughs> Something about you uh, and a rabbit. and <laughs> <clears throat> I have to remember who I'm speaking to. Just remember, <laughs> sheep or taller, okay? <laughs> I'm 
I'm old. So anyway. So yeah, one <laughs> night I was sitting at the radio station, WKAT in Miami back in 1979. I was 18. And uh, I was doing big band music, going against Neil Rogers on another station. I was beating him. I don't know who that My is. My ratings were higher than Neil Rogers on WIOD. Okay. Anyway, so I'm sitting there. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. And underneath the shelf here, it says there's a switch. And it says, do not turn off. <laughs> and I figured, you know, they don't want the lights off or something. So I just clicked it. I shut off the tower. Oh, my God. <laughs> we were off the air for eight hours. <laughs> Because nobody could figure out what happened. And I finally said, does this switch have anything to do with it? And they went, oh, my God. Anyway, that's my radio story. But, yes, auditioning, um, it's hard. It's a different world today than, than, than you and I started in. We didn't have to audition much. They would just call you and go, "Be here at you know at the you know at the sound studio at a BDI at seven. Well, and- I think for you, yes, I've always had to audition. I've not gotcha. been, yeah, I've never gotten, I was never at that level where it was, you know. I think it was because earlier than you, things just hadn't changed yeah, yet. Yeah, it was always yeah. getting here and trying out. Because there were only eight of us doing all the work. Right, right. And I wasn't so part of that. one of the eight or all of us for one session and then we'd all just show up. <laughs> right. But nowadays. Collect your we, checks we, and we, go. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, I get home from doing nine car spots for <laughs> Ford. Drive home to from Miami Beach to Fort Lauderdale, and the phone would ring, and they said they just changed the prices of all the cars. And I'm like, oh, Yay! Well, <laughs> Sorry. So I'll be right back. <laughs> I had that happen once. Um, it was uh, for a client. I don't know if I should mention who it is. Um, a retail client, and they had me do like, oh God, it was like ten, twelve in-store promos, and they were union. So they were paying uh, yeah. like 400 and change a piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so I did them all. And then the next day they said, oh, we have a mistake on all of them. So we have to redo them. And you're going to get paid all over again. Yeah. And they just said, tell Linda Merry Christmas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I was like, thank you. This is going towards my kitchen. <laughs> Love it when that goes on. Yeah. I once had, uh, we, we did, there was an audit or, um, Four or five of us showed up at the studio for, you know, I think it was 10 spots. And there was, you know, one person going to do each spot. And then, so they all got, the, the people just got two spots. Mm-hmm. And the uh, the producer said, looked at me and said, okay, I want you to be the announcer. And and somebody went, ha ha, you're only the announcer. And I said, ha ha, I get to do all 10. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Not two. <laughs> so... <laughs> That's a great time but, to be the announcer, yes. Yes. But as far as um, auditioning, the, it, was, it happened the other day. I was, uh, it was a little quiet there. And, you know, we audition every day, every day, every day, every yes. day without fail. And as you've said, and I've said many times on this show and during the workouts, and it, it gets to a point sometimes where you just go, you know, why? Mm. I'm so, you know, because it, it's... It's like doing a real session with clients on the phone when you do those auditions. It's, yeah. it's a, you really got to get into it. You've really got to try hard, but you can't over try because then you read it for an hour and you just take one. Then all the analyzation uh, comes in. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, I'm going to read it again, but then you realize it's the same voice. You're just hitting a word differently and they're not going to care. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Unless you are reading it like this, <laughs> then they might not like you. <laughs> But um, it, it's hard, but I have adopted, well, I've always been this way, but especially last week where I was, I guess it was the allergies and the second shot, and I was kind of feeling a little low. And I said, you know what? Every time I get an audition, I'm going to go do it immediately. I'm going to go the other direction instead of bitching about it. That's These are good things, auditions. They're yes. wonderful. They're opportunities for us to get our job. It's like a job interview five times a day it's just tiring it, it is it you is know. and it's time consuming but it's it's just like some guy going for a job you know at a regular office you know imagine doing that five times a day right you know where you walk in with your portfolio and you have to tell your thing and other but for us it's it's we have to no matter what mood we're in how we feel and even though it's a non-paying gig we have to <clears> give it our absolute all and try and figure out how to do it a little bit differently so that we stand out. 
Now, I think this is one of the reasons why I do enjoy working with students is because they have that excitement and passion yes. for auditioning like yes. I used to have, you know. Yes, and you and I are texting back and forth. <laughs> no, no, we're not. <laughs> not I'm true, kidding. Not I'm true. Kidding. It was just a joke. <laughs> but it's it's refreshing because it reminds me truly of what's important in this business because once you start doing it and then I know students will come and go, I auditioned 500 times and I didn't get whatever, you know. And I'm just saying, look, you just have to get used to this this process. It's that's what it is. It's a process, and yep. yeah, you're gonna have to audition, and we go through that all the time. Yep. And sometimes you may not book one for 25 auditions, but then you book six in a row, mm -hmm. and it renews your <clears throat> hope. And there's even over 37 years now, something has always renewed my hope yeah. to keep going. <laughs> I know but it's it, it's a job interview five or six or seven or more times a day. Yes. Yeah. Trying to figure out how am I going to be better than the other guy <laughs> who was just in here or that they just listened to, you know, his resume is good. He's a, he's really good at what he does. How can I stand out? So I really have tried to just, you know, and the class is, is, is helping me right. so much yeah. in my reads. They're different now. Yeah, I, I, I pull said. back to the point because I remember I was doing a session with Connie Zimmick one day, long, long time ago, and it was a workout and, and she just kept telling me to pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. And I'm going, there's nothing left. Yeah. And she said, I want you to do it one more time and pull it back just a little more. I went, All right. And I did the read and it was fantastic. <laughs> she said, see, everything's gone. Yeah. And I went. Oh, she was so far ahead of her time. Yeah, well. yeah. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. But now I'm I'm starting to do that again because I'm I've really also started listening to what's going on commercial wise again. That for the first time in years, now that I'm older, I'm listening to what some of the younger people are doing and people my age. Yes. I mean, we pretty much do call Aetna Health Insurance today. <laughs> you know, but um, it, it's it's the reads are a little bit different than they used to be and. It's just it's just not the same. So I'm trying to actually, you know, relearn and improve. We never and the stop. classes are helping me. It's yeah. just amazing because I'm listening to these people do it all day long. We never <laughs> we never stop learning. It doesn't matter how no. old you get, how successful you get, you know, how many years you've been in the business. We're constantly and we're constantly going through the same self doubts that you are too. Yes. <laughs> you oh, know. Oh, oh, you know what I learned yesterday? Hmm. If you don't hit record before you do your audition, it doesn't record. Wow. Great. Yep. And I wasn't pissed at all. <laughs> I hate that. Do you hate that? Do you do that? Yeah, there have been times I do that. Oh, my God. You look mm -hmm. over and you go, you know, before you look over, you go, okay, that that's the one. After, you know, 22 times of recording the other, you look over and the, the cursor is just flashing. <laughs> and I'm going, God. <laughs> Dave just told no. me. Dave just told me he was recording a podcast last night here, and a woman. She's like the manager. She came with the guy who was on the podcast, and she wanted to do some, you know, Instagram video. Right. So you know, Dave's on one side of the room, and this woman's kind of wandering around. <clears throat> they start the podcast. Dave introduces the guy. Blah blah blah. Fifteen minutes solid. Beautiful. Great interview. The guy comes off great. Excellent conclusion. Dave looks at Pro Tools <laughs> and sees the timer has stopped. <laughs> And nothing was recording. And she had leaned against the desk to take oh. a picture and hit the space bar on the keyboard, which stops Pro Tools. So <laughs> they had to start over. But that's I the kind of stuff. I tell you how many times I've done that. <laughs> yeah. And it's always the best take. Yeah. And you look over, okay, I'm done. Yeah. Oh, no, no. I know, I know. No. I know. But yeah, I, and on, yeah, I've been back to the auditions. I, <laughs> I, I love to audition. That is the game for me. That is the business. I'm glad you do. I don't. I really do. It's every one of them is a challenge. And and uh, especially when the agent writes back, you know, wow, that was really good. And you, you still don't get it. I, you know? I don't, I, I can, I have to say, I don't like auditioning anymore. I don't oh. like it. I don't like, I feel like there's um, there's the sense like of obligation 
There's yeah. the sense of timing, like, oh gosh, this just came in. Now I got to put everything aside. It stresses me out. There's the sense of, okay, performance wise, let me get in that place. I have to do something for an agent and it's complete actor mode, complete actor mode. So I know that I'm going to have to close everything out so that way I can try to get into that mode. And like and you're saying, it's a lot of work. Right. It's a lot of work. And it's, I'm have, I personally am having a tough time staying excited about auditioning. But I'm, I feel the same way about marketing. Oh, right. Mm-hmm. I'm terrible at it. Yeah. I just, I don't bother. And I just, but you every know, now and then I'll send out a demo and I go, you know, if I just did that like once a day, I could send out five demos a week, 20 yeah. demos a month. And that's all I have to do. So I'm that trying to get my to butt in the studio. And I did that the other day. I sent out a demo, but even that took an hour yeah. because being the people that we are, I wrote the letter and, you know, kept it short and sweet bullet points and everything. And I attached my demo and played it. And I went, Oh God, I don't like that demo anymore. <laughs> So then I went over here and I downloaded all 14 demos that I've had over the years and I remixed a complete new. Yeah. I said, it's too goddamn 30. <laughs> and you attach it and only one spot's difference and it's in a different place. And you just spent another two hours on and it now when I'm you could have been. <laughs> now I'm happy. It's just like, oh my God, neurotic yeah. is what we get. We get just neurotic. But it's, businesses yeah. close, people retire, people die, clients die, <laughs> yes. you know, and so yes. you have to constantly with that. But I get it. I, it's I'm not the best at it either. I'm um, I've my my methods of marketing I still use with the newsletters and having the solid website. But again, I've been waiting on my new website since last August. Right. So I feel right. like you know, been my hands have been tied with it. But it's coming. It's coming. Oh, tell me more. Oh yes, <laughs> <laughs> tied hands. Okay. Front or back? <laughs> Ew. Oh, okay. You like okay. you like my brother. Okay, JJ. Please. Okay. Thank God. Oh, that's right. You. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> so our workouts have been good. They, I'm I'm trying to yes, figure I'm out. Yes, I'm getting pumped. Oh, I'm trying to get. So yeah, hot. I'm trying yeah. to figure out a plan because. They're we don't se- have room anymore. I know. They're selling out. We're going to have to go to like 30 people. I think we should do a 30 people workout. <laughs> they're selling out so quickly that now I'm, I mean, I was going to talk to you about it and see, do you want to add maybe yes. every so often an additional day? Yes. It's just that if people aren't, I think some people that want to try it can't get in with enough time. Yes. I think we should do two nights yeah. a week. Oh, that's a lot but, of work. And, and part of that is selfishness. Oh, because you, you want to do it. Because I, I like it. I learn from it. Yeah. Because some of the things you say, and then we've got Alyssa saying stuff, and I go, oh, <laughs> you yeah, know, that's like, oh, right. and even know. some of the things I say, I yeah. go, oh, Christ, maybe I ought to try that myself, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it, it really is. It's changing the way I work. It that's really right. is. And, you know, we've sent a couple, three people off now. We finally said, stop taking the freaking glass and go to work. <laughs> You're done. You're stop. good. You're good. <laughs> It's confidence. Alone. It's confidence. <laughs> yes. Yes. But sometimes you just have to say, you don't need us anymore. Right. I know. I know. And they, well, don't you want our money? No. No, we don't. I, I don't <laughs> want your freaking money. We truly. Stop spending the money on us. Yeah. Put it towards one of the pay to play websites and go get the work. Yeah. We truly do not do this for the financial. If we did, we'd be charging a heck of a lot more than 60 yep. bucks for two hours of two. You know, I keep being told that. But I'm like, no, I want to make this thing affordable. We're not in it for that reason. But um, thinking, well, partly. <laughs> I'm thinking that maybe an additional. I'm not saying every week, though. I'm saying like, no, every, not every week. Maybe yeah. every two weeks we can do two nights. Yeah. Just to try to you give know. a little more room. Because... I know. Monday through Friday of every week. Ew, no. No. <laughs> no, no, I couldn't do it. No, I no. I'd kill them all. I, I would kill them all. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I don't have that much patience. No. Uh, but that's the, I think that's on the horizon. And our mock workout, we're having another one this month um, in May. Mock audition. Mock, uh, sorry, mock audition. A, mo- a mock workout would be <laughs> well, a fake no, workout. I believe we're going to work out. <laughs> Everybody just sits and stares at each other. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> we have one booked uh, for this month in May. May 12th is our mock audition, which we had fun right. with last time. Right. Um, and then we have two other workouts because the first one is Cinco de Mayo. We're not getting together for that. No. So. Um, oh, oh, and we have a special announcement. We're having the Marcel Marceau workout night in June. <laughs> in it's going to be quiet as hell. It's going to be great. 
No feedback, no nothing. That's... Just put the mute button on and go. <laughs> Wave to each other. Yep. <laughs> Create and boxes. <laughs> right. <laughs> or. So... <laughs> now, unfortunately, if you're just listening to the podcast, you cannot see what he's doing on his ha- with his hands. So, therefore, you need I to go. I did the Italian hand on the chin, <laughs> and then I did a, hey, one of, hey up for your nose. You, you got it. You oh, got to oh, go oh. to our YouTube page, and that's where you see the videos of our podcast. The video cast. I don't know if that's what you call it. but Video. Yes. 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 So, yes. go to that page. So, thank you again for joining me, JJ. Oh, well, thank you, Linda, for joining me again. Thank you. Sure. And uh, you guys have any questions, anything you want us to chat about, anything, comments, uh, info at voiceover.guru. We always appreciate the reviews that we're getting, too. That's always so yes, nice. You can review us on Google. Absolutely. Um, Except that last one. Oof. Wow. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He's kidding. He's kidding. I'm... But everybody have a great rest of your day, night, week, whatever you're doing. And practice, practice, practice. Yes. Take a script and read it 20 different ways. I challenge you to read 20 different ways one script. Ooh, the JJ challenge. Yes. I like it. You'll find that some of them are really, really bad. Some of them are really, really funny. 20 ways is a lot. All right, 10. The JJ challenge, read one script 10 different ways. And then send, send him characters. the best take. And then send JJ the best take. <laughs> right. Via mail <laughs> to cell block three, upstate New York. There you go. <laughs> Sounds good. My number is 1004447. <laughs> uh, goodbye, everybody. Well, goodbye. Thanks for joining us. And thanks to you for joining us. Wish Kevin Kilpatrick were here. We could use his music. Da 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 da. You can just sing. Oh, no, no. (laughs) (laughs) Only when I drop the soap do I say. Goodbye, JJ. Goodbye, Linda. Bye.